English conversation practice. Topic the lesson. Today in class, I learned a very meaningful story. Really? Can you tell me? Of course. The story is called A Bunch of Chopsticks. Start telling. I'm very excited. Once upon a time, there was an old rich man who had two children. The sons who were perpetually quarreling among themselves. The father must be very sad. Yeah, so the dad wanted to teach his boys a lesson. A lesson? Right? One day he gathered his children and told the servant to bring up a bunch of chopsticks. The father told his children to break the bunch of chopsticks at once. <gasps> so, can they break it? Definitely no. No matter how hard the younger son tried, it did not work. The older son was equally unable to break the sticks. Then what? Then the father said try to break those chopsticks one by one. Immediately, his children were easily able to break that bunch of chopsticks. Do fathers want to teach their children about solidarity? Yes, the father said if you work together as a team, no one can defeat you, and you should be united in loving each other. It's a valuable lesson. Topic, people and work. Thank you for spending your lunch break with me. Uh, not at all. What are you having problems with? Well, unfortunately, I'm having a number of problems. Uh, what exactly is that? I couldn't work on my computer all day. Did your computer have a virus? Yes, I opened a virus-infected file. <gasps> oh my goodness! When opening files in your email, you must exercise extreme caution. A virus might cause your entire computer to crash. It was purely coincidental. I had no idea the download included a virus. I'll be more cautious next time. What did you do after that? I requested that a computer repairman come to my office. He spent the entire day repairing my laptop. But... The serious problem is that I'm afraid the virus will lose the data on my computer. Don't be concerned. You know, documents as well as important projects are saved on this computer. I can assist you in reclaiming it, but next time, make sure you have backup files, just in case it happens again. Thank you so much. Topic, my future job. Mia, what do you want to be in the future? I have always wanted to become a teacher. I believe I would want to work with children to help them learn. Teachers, as you know, must work extremely hard for little pay. I'm not concerned with money. You know, being a teacher has been a dream for me since childhood. What subject would you like to teach? Like Miss Kim, I want to teach English. She makes learning enjoyable. I had no idea how much I would enjoy English until I enrolled in her class. English? I'm the worst at that subject. Me too, but... After taking Miss Kim's class, I gradually fell in love with it. 
English is my favorite subject. If you want to teach English, you must work hard and learn it well. I know what I need to do. Last week, I received an A on the English test, and I'm trying to improve myself every day. Learning is simple when you have excellent teachers like Miss Kim. Yeah, right? I want to be a teacher too, but I want to teach maths, not English. What's your opinion? Making the final decision in the situation is very important. Let's watch this video and see what the characters do to make their own decisions. Buy a new car. Should we buy a new car, Ben? We can conveniently drive each other to work and go out as we like. What is your opinion, Ben? Yes, Sarah. Actually, I've been wanting to talk to you about this for a long time. We will buy a car. My salary is already good, so it makes sense to buy a car now. I have learned about some of the cars that are suitable for us. Do you want to watch it together? Of course, honey. Let me see. Here it is. I've already figured it out. We will buy Toyota cars because they look good and save fuel. I agree. We can also watch other car brands if we can't choose the car for us here. Okay, Sarah. Look at this model. It is so elegant and luxurious. I like blue paint. Is this model available in blue color? Hmm. Let me see. It seems they don't have the blue you want. What do you feel about the red one? Uh, I don't think I love it. Can we look at other cars? Okay, Sarah. There are a lot of car models for you. Don't worry. Oh! Ben! Ben! That one! Let me see. Yes, it has the blue you wish. And about the energy and inside the car? It's good. Okay, we will buy this car. Are you sure, Ben? We've only looked at a few samples, right? No, Sarah. This car is of good quality compared to other cars on the market. It also has a pretty good price and a company promotion. I think we should buy now to receive those incentives. Okay, honey. Let's go to the garage and ask them for more information about this car tomorrow. Okay, let's go together. The Picnic on the Weekend So, we finally finished the final exam of the term! Do you guys have any plans to relax after hard days of studying for exams? I am going to spend my next week sleeping and playing games with some friends. I still can't think of any activities to relax. Me too, Mark. That sounds boring. <sighs> How about a picnic this weekend? We can book a place outside the city to camp and enjoy the view together. Only you and us? Are you sure about it? Actually, I talked to my roommate about the picnic, and she agreed. But we don't dare go there alone, and we need some guys. So, what are your opinions, Joey and Mark? It's a great idea, Jenny. I totally agree. And Mark? 
Hmm. It's okay. Anyway, I'm free this weekend. So, we have to discuss what to bring to the picnic. Do you have any idea about it, Mark and Joey? I love grilled beef, so let's bring as much beef as possible. Yes, I love beef too. That's a good idea, Joey. And also fruit for dessert too. Hey guys, we forget that we still haven't found a specific place to camp. Since you two love roast beef, we needed to find a place with a grill and charcoal. I know a place that meets our needs. It's about 12 miles from the city. My family went camping there once, and it was very good. Sounds great, Mark. Okay, we believe you, friends. Let's continue talking about important things we need to bring. Who wants to play some board games? I have some exciting games at home. Yes, my roommate loves board games so much. She also has some, and I will tell her to bring them. We also need to bring some essential items, such as tents, flashlights, lighters, and water. You're right, Mark. We should prepare them at home. So, what time and where will we start? I think it should be Saturday morning. We will gather at my house and go to the picnic place together. I will use my car to drive you. Okay, Joey. So, I have to go to a coffee with my friends right now. See you later. Bye, Mark! How to grow the team. As you know, our dance group is now known by quite a few people. However, that is, of course, not our final goal. So, today, we will talk about whether to change the style or keep the old style. Everyone, what are your opinions? Feel free to say it. I think that we should still keep our current style. That's what makes our audience know us. I don't think so. We should follow new styles so the audience won't get bored. But it will require us more time to practice and learn about new trends. You are right, Jack. Learning more new styles gives us more variety when performing. We also may grow ourselves when studying a new style. Should we recruit new members for our crew? That's a good idea, Kevin. Oh, Kevin. You are right. But I think I will still keep the old style when dancing. I have no time to learn a new dance. Yes, we always respect you and what you've done for our group. You can dance as you want in the crew, and we'll try to combine the new style with your old one. So, we decided to change our style, right? Yes, Tony. Okay, Kevin. You help me to invite new members to our crew. No problem, Tony. I will learn about other styles for our crew on the internet. I can help Kevin recruit new members. Thanks, Jack. Also, I can explore styles that may suit us with you, Tony. It's great, Kevin. Thank you. So, will we still practice this afternoon? Of course, Jack. Now, we should go home and do the tasks I mentioned. Okay, Tony. See you later. Bye, everyone. Trouble While Traveling We all love traveling. However, Sometimes we have to face some unexpected troubles during our trip. 
Let's watch the video to see what problems the characters have. Losing the phone. Hello? Good morning, sir. How can I help you? I want to go to the art museum. Is it far from here? Not really. Do you want me to call a taxi for you? Can I go there by bus? Sure. There is a bus terminal nearby. You can go straight ahead, then turn left. It's only five minutes walking. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. Let's go, Lily. There is a bus terminal ahead. It is so crowded, isn't it? Yes. Be careful with your stuff. Don't worry. This city is safe. Look, that's the art museum. I booked two tickets online. Perfect. The line is longer than we thought. Yeah, dozens of people are queuing up to get tickets. Quickly, the entering gate is over there. I want to take a picture with it. Can you help me? My phone is running out of battery. Can we use yours? Absolutely. <gasps> oh my God, Lily. Do you keep my phone? Did I give it to you? No. What's up? I haven't seen your phone since we left the hotel. Oh my God. So where is it? Did you bring it along with you? Yes, absolutely. I remember I checked the time at the front desk. I told you, you need to be careful with your stuff. I did, but... Uh... <sighs> what should we do now? Can I borrow your phone? I will call my phone. I think it doesn't work anyway. Here. Hope that there is someone to pick it up. Oh, it's ringing. But no one picks it up. I think you forgot it at the hotel. No, I'm sure I brought it with me. Oh, it's a call from my phone. Calm down. Let me pick it up. Hello? Hi. Is it Lily? Yes, it's me. Hi, I saw your missed call on this phone. A man forgot it on the bus. I am keeping it for him. So if you know where he is, please let me know. Then I will bring it for him. Give me the phone. Let me talk with her. Hello, I'm James, the phone owner. Thank you so much for contacting me. I'm at the art museum. Are you near there? I will come to meet you. Yes, I am living nearby there. But I can come to give it back to you. Thank you so much. You saved my life. You 
you are welcome. I don't have a ticket, so wait for me at the entrance gate. Sure. Thank you. Being cheated. Good evening, madam. May I help you? Hi. I would like to check in, please. Certainly. Do you have a reservation? Yes, I have. It's in the name of Yulia Johnson. Okay. Please wait for me for a few minutes. I will check it quickly. Hmm. Everything is okay? No, madam. There is no reservation under that name. Do you have any mistakes in booking? Oh, I don't know. I booked it through a travel agency. Can I have their name, please? Maybe the reservation is under that company name. It's the Golden Kite. I'm so sorry. We cannot find that name as well. Could you please try to call your agent to ask about the problem, please? Sure. Oh my god! They don't pick up my phone! I'm so sorry. Oh my god! I think I was cheated! I haven't faced this situation before. I don't know what to do. Is there any empty room at your hotel? Unfortunately not. But we have another branch, which is five kilometers from here. Do you want to get one room there? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Topic. Jack refuses to do exercises in class, while his classmates work very hard. Watch the video to see how Jack's parents will advise him, and learn how to use the who question. Everyone, now we will do exercises 1 and 2 on page 50, then I will give you the correct answer, okay? Jack, are you done yet? Not yet. Why are you sitting still? Let me see your notebook. Not a single word yet. What have you been doing all this time? I will do it at home. Hello? Hello, is that Mr. Thomas, Jack's father? Yes, it's me. Who is that? Hi, I'm Jack's teacher, Lucy. Oh, Miss Lucy. What happened? Lately, Jack is quite lazy. He refused to do his exercises in class and just sit there and watch other students doing exercises. Really? Yes. When I asked him, he just said he would do them at home. Okay, Miss Lucy, I got it. I'll talk to him when I get home. Thank you for letting me know. You are welcome. I just want to make sure there was nothing that happened to him at home that affected his emotion. No, there was nothing bad that happened, teacher. Thank you for caring about him. No need to thank me. That's my responsibility as a teacher. Hello, Dad. Hello, Mom. You're back, Jack. Come here. I want to talk to you a bit. Yes, Dad? What's wrong? How was your day? It was normal. Normal? Nothing interesting? 
I'm not sure. Did you have fun in class these days? Yeah, it's not bad. Is there anything interesting in your class? Interesting? Maybe only break time is interesting, Dad. <laughs> what about class time? Is it bored? Not really. Some classes are more interesting than others. Okay, can I ask you some questions? Yes, sure. Who is the best student in your class? It must be David. He always got the best grades. So, who is the most naughty person in your class? Tommy, definitely. He's been messing around the school all day. Who is the laziest person in your class? Lazy? How do I know it? Let me give you a hint. Like, evaluation criteria, okay? Yes? When other boys and girls are doing exercises, who sits in the classroom and only watches how other people work? Uh, I got it! That's the teacher! Huh? <laughs> what he said actually makes sense, though. Isn't it right? After she told us to do our homework, she just sat and watched us. What's wrong, Dad? He is just speechless with your answer. <laughs> Are you still laughing, Mary? Okay, okay. Jack, he is talking about you. Me? The laziest one in the class? Who else if not you? But why? Your teacher called your father today. She told him you didn't do exercises in class. Well, your friends worked hard, right? Yes. She called to ask if there was something bothering you that you refused to do exercise in class. Don't you feel happy in class? No, I just find doing those assignments in class is a headache. Why? She will give us the answer for those exercises anyway. I'll remember them better if I do it again at home. That's not the point. The point of doing exercise yourself is that it will help you to train initiative and be independent while doing those exercises. Do you understand? Yes, Dad. Will you do exercise in class tomorrow? Yes, yes. Okay, go wash your hands and get ready for dinner. Office Love Story Anna and Mark are couples. One day, Anna is moved to Mark's branch. Their office love story starts from that day. Let's watch this video and see what happened with them. Honey, I got a letter from head office. Yeah? You will move to my branch next week, won't you? Yes, I am also surprised. I thought I would move to the branch in District 4. Yeah. Yes, I'm so happy. So we can work together in one office. But I'm a little nervous. Why? I will help you if you have any problems. I'm a newbie. If everyone knows I'm your girlfriend, it's not good for you. We can have some rumors. Which rumor? I don't think so. Because you are the leader of that team, honey. You know me. I don't want to be talking behind my back. <sighs> okay. Does it mean that we are pretending we don't know each other? Yes. I'm a new staff. And you are my supervisor. Sounds interesting. <laughs> don't forget to celebrate a greeting party for me. Never. Hey, Mark, have a seat. Thank you. What do we have for today? As usual. Hey, do you know Anna? Hmm. Anna, new staff in the marketing team, right? Yes, that's right. 
She always looks so stunning. If you have the chance to work with her, she is a perfect co-worker. Wow! Really? She is a newbie, isn't she? She worked for the branch in District 3 for three months. After the probationary period, she has moved here. Yeah, she has good feedback from the previous branch. Why don't we ask her to have lunch together tomorrow? Sounds great. She looks hot. I thought she looks like Avril. I want to ask her out. Take it slow, man. You will scare her. Mark, why is your face blushing? You have some feelings about Anna, don't you? Oh, come on. I'm her leader. What do you think about her? Ah, uh, well, she looks cool. That's all? And her working performance is good. A professional one. You guys would be perfect for each other. Do you think so, Kyle? I can't agree more. <laughs> uh, I think we don't get along with each other much. I'm done. I'm back in the office now. Bye. Hey, honey. Hi, Bay. John and Kyle take notice of you. Oh. Really? I even don't talk with them much. <laughs> because my baby is a great girl. Do you want to eat out tonight? Lana just recommended an Italian restaurant. Perfect. I have some free time today. Where is it? The street's over there. I'm not able to remember its name. Okay. Can you ask her for the exact address? She did text me, but I don't keep my phone along with me. No worries. Send me later. I miss you so much. I miss you too. I'm always here for you. But when we are in the office, you're only my leader. Should we make our relationship public? No, no. Not right now. Hey! <gasps> what are you guys doing here? I just bump into him here. Yeah, luckily. I'm also looking for her. Her report has some mistakes. Anna, you should correct it today. It's important documents supporting tomorrow's meeting. Sure. Come on, Mark. Don't be strict with her. She is a newbie. It's okay, Leo. It's my fault. You see? You should help her to improve her ability. Sure. So, do you want to have a cup of coffee? Now? Yes. Ignore him. I pay this time. Okay, cool. Um, but I have something I need to ask Mark about the report. You can go to the canteen first. Then I will come later. Okay. Bye, Mark. Bye, Anna. Bye. Don't be tough with her. <sighs> He's gone. He almost caught us. I think we should tell everyone. I don't want to keep it in secret for so long. Okay. We will find the right time. Now, are you going to have coffee with Leo? Really? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I will text him that I'm busy doing the report. No, oh, no. I can go with you. I also want to have a cup of coffee now. Okay, let's go. Wow, Anna, you look like a princess today. Thank you. Everyone, this is Anna, a new girl in the marketing department. Cheers! Mark, you are so lucky to have such a smart and pretty teammate. You should have this shot. Don't scare her. Everyone for our success. For, for our success. success. Enjoy the meal.
Anna, are you drunk? No, no, I'm okay. By the way, I'm Dylan from the IT department. Hi, I think you know me. I'm Anna from the marketing department. Yeah, you know, you are so famous in this branch. Oh. Really? I don't think so. A smart and beautiful staff. Thank you. I saw you come here alone. Would you mind if I take you home after the party? I'm okay. Thank you anyway. You look drunk. It's not safe to go home alone. Hey, Dylan. Hey, Mark. I'm asking to take her home, but she didn't agree. Tell something. Leave her alone. I think you scared her. No, I did nothing. I just want to take her home. But she said no. What's wrong with you? You should back me up. You should leave her alone. Come on, man. <gasps> I'm okay. Don't fight each other. You guys are drunk. Anna, go with me. Hey, man. Don't leave. Who do you think you are? I'm her boyfriend. What? Mark! Are you kidding me? No, we are lovers for two years. Oh, gosh. Is it true, Anna? Yes, Mark is my boyfriend. Are you guys serious? Oh, my. What is the situation now? I'm so confused. I'm sorry for not telling you before. We don't want everything weird in the office. But it's weirder now. I'm so sorry. I just crushed on you because I thought you were single. Don't apologize to me. You don't know anything. It's not your fault. I think I should leave now. I'm so shy. Enjoy. It's okay, bro. I understand. Bye, Dylan. Finally, they caught us. I don't know how to explain. No worries. I will help you. Everyone will understand us. Should we tell Dylan not to tell everyone? No, it's unnecessary. I think it's the right time now. Topic, the school play. Are you planning on attending the school performance on Saturday? A play? I had no idea there'd be a play on Saturday night. Yes, I heard about it in English class the day before. I believe it'll be excellent. Who informed you about this? Miss Martin, our English teacher, told us everything. This is the first play of the year for the drama club? Yeah, I think so. What is the play about? And I hope it isn't boring. Shh, it's a secret. Oh, come on, please tell me. It's the musical, The Sound of Music. Really? Miss Martin told us so. It's fantastic. So, do you want to watch the play with me on Saturday night? Of course. I'm looking forward to the drama team's performance. I heard they practice really hard for that play. Topic. Ballet class. Where are you going, Cindy? Hi, Mrs. Jenny. I'm going to ballet class this afternoon. Ballet lessons? I had no idea you were a ballet student. How long have you been a dancer? Today is my first day and I'm not looking forward to it. My parents want me to study ballet. Where are the classes? At the local community center. When I was your age, I used to study ballet. 
I now teach ballet at a dance studio. Oh, I didn't realize that. Where do you give your lectures? Easy Steps Dance Academy. It's just down the street. Ballet is a beautiful dance that is easy to learn. I don't think it's simple. I found it very difficult. Of course, you'll need to master the steps and practice a lot, but I think you'll love it. I certainly hope so. Well, go have fun. Topic: Monet's Garden. This picture is so beautiful. Do you know who the author is? Claude Monet was a fantastic painter. He was one of the first impressionists. Oh, I've heard that name before. Can you explain to me what impressionism is? The thing is, impressionist artists were not trying to paint a reflection of real life, but an impression of the person, light, atmosphere, object, or landscape. Who were the impressionists? Some of the main impressionist artists are Claude Monet, Berthe Morissette, Camille Pissarro. How did they paint? Before impressionism, landscape and art were often imaginary. Perfect landscapes painted in the studio. The impressionists changed all that. They painted outdoors. <laughs> Was this painting done outdoors by Monet as well? That's great. Yeah, Monet spent a lot of time painting outside. He wanted to demonstrate how objects seemed in the light. Does he draw a lot of pictures related to the garden? Right. Garden scenes appear in several of his works. He enjoyed painting flowers and trees. He enjoyed painting in his own yard. Does his garden still exist? Yes, this garden now attracts a large number of tourists each year. The majority of them are art enthusiasts or artists. Topic: Nature and the Environment. This is a good location. Let's take a break and enjoy a picnic close to the river. Nice weather. I usually get hungry when I go for a walk. I'm all set for lunch. We can sit on the grass here. Oh my goodness! Someone forgot to dispose of these empty paper bags. There's rubbish all over the place. Why don't people throw garbage in the right place? I don't know. These people have very poor consciousness. It greatly affects the environment and surrounding landscape. There are also several empty cans and glass bottles under the tree. People should pick up after themselves and not leave rubbish behind. That's correct. So after our lunch, let's clean up as much garbage as we can and get it out of here. Okay, next week we can go with some people. We'll clean up their trash in this park. Excellent thought. Topic: Let's recycle. Hello, Jane. Have you heard about the new legislation aimed at encouraging people to recycle? They were mentioning it in the news yesterday night. I'm not sure I like them. Instead of tossing away paper, metal, and glass, the government aims to keep the environment clean by recycling them. But who wants to spend an extra fifty cents for a cup of coffee? Fifty cents. A paper cup only costs five cents more. 
A rather expensive price. But you can also receive your money back if you return the cup. I think this policy has been approved by the government. Come to think of it, this is very good for the environment. Yeah, from now on, I'll return all of the paper coffee cups I use. Good, we must all recycle. It has to keep the environment clean. Topic, growing roses. Please excuse me, ma'am. My rose shrub is giving me trouble. What is the problem? It used to yield an abundance of pink roses. I don't quite understand what you mean. Please tell me the details. Yeah, now it is no longer producing any blooms. I get what you mean. That appears to be an issue. Do the plant's leaves appear to be in good condition? No, not at all. The leaves were formerly extremely green. The majority of them have now gone brown. So, I believe your rose bush needs fertilizer. Okay, what type of fertilizer do you recommend I use? This liquid fertilizer is excellent. It will aid in the re-greening of your rose leaves. And will it flower again? Yes, the plant should then begin to produce roses very shortly. How much? The fertilizer is around $10. How long will my rose bush need to recover? I believe it'll take about two weeks. Great, thank you very much. Topic, bird watching. Tomorrow I want to go bird watching. Do you know of a nice bird watching location? There's a beautiful park nearby. There are usually a lot of lovely birds there. Will I be able to view a variety of birds in that park? Yes, I believe so. Even if the birds are far away, you may see them using binoculars. Great, I have a book with pictures of all the different kinds of birds. It appears that you enjoy bird watching. Sure, do you want to accompany me tomorrow? Thank you, but no, I find bird watching to be tedious. That is not correct. Birds are fascinating creatures. Some birds have brightly colored feathers. Some birds build unique nests in which to lay their eggs. You're very knowledgeable about birds. Right? I love studying birds. Okay, maybe I'll go with you. Topic, trees in the forest. Where did you go yesterday? I looked for you. I went to the tree fair to buy some saplings. Who's organized this tree fair? The Department of Agriculture and Forestry organizes this tree fair on the occasion of Tree Plantation Week. Why do they organize this tree fair? It appears strange to me that you're not yet fully aware of the importance of tree plantation. Right you are. Please tell me about the importance of tree plantation. I want to know about it in detail. Trees are our best friends. They are a great source of our food, vitamins, and furniture. What will happen if trees continue to be cut at the present rate? The lives of all living beings will be in danger. I see. Forests are the source of life. They give man oxygen, rain, wood, fruit. But do you notice that many unscrupulous people are cutting down trees at random? 
what might be its consequence? If they cut down trees indiscriminately, the country will one day turn into a desert. The temperature will rise and it will cause the greenhouse effect. Now I understand why tree plantation is so important. Why don't we go to the cinema? There are many suggestions where people need to suggest something. So how many ways for suggestions are there? Watch the video and learn from them. What's for dinner? What do you think about this homestay, Anna? Not bad, but I think it's a little expensive for a group of four. I don't think so. It's acceptable with this amazing view. Right. This wonderful view makes me comfortable. But there is one thing. What's the problem? I guess it's quite far from here to the center of the town. So we can't go to the restaurant for our dinner. Oh dear, we forgot that. What should we do? Don't worry. Why don't we order online and they will ship meals for us? That's easy. Cool. But I'm starving right now. We could order something now, couldn't we? Sure. I'm hungry too. But the important thing now is what kinds of food we will have for dinner. We should decide what we eat first. Um, why don't we eat fried chicken or pizza? Good idea. When we travel, we only need to eat fast food. Oh no! But I and Alex eat chicken yesterday. We don't really want to eat it. Um, really? So I suggest something hot. Great, Jack. The first thing that comes to my mind is hot pot. Yes, there is a famous hot pot restaurant near here. I've read the review. They're good. Is this a Chinese restaurant? That's right. A Chinese hot pot seems to be a good suggestion. Okay, very good. It would be nice if we could have something to drink. Please order drinks at the hot pot restaurant. Do you have the restaurant's phone number, Alex? Not yet. But I'm going to search for it on the internet. Okay. I'm so bored. It's rare to see you at home on a weekend like this. Really? Yes, Anna. Normally you would go to work all weekend. Even if you come back later than usual. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm always on the go. But now I'm free. Is your project successful? Yes, Sarah. I'm on cloud nine now. This is time for me to chill out. Right. Lately, you haven't had time for yourself anymore. But Sarah, I don't know why. Maybe because it turns into my daily routine. Staying at home like today makes me extremely bored. I have nothing to do at all. <sighs> <laughs> it's
It's true that you've been busy. Everyone looks forward to resting at home. Sarah, do you want to hang out? I can't stand so that I have nothing to do. Okay, sure. What do you want to go to? I'll go with you. Let me see. Oh, I don't know. I just want to go out. Um, would you like to go shopping? Shopping? I don't think I lack clothes or shoes at all. How about going to the cafe? Sarah, I drink one to two cups of coffee every day. Ah, uh, why don't we go to the cinema? There's a blockbuster movie playing in theaters. It's been a while since you went to the movies, right? That's right, for nearly four months. So why not? Cool, let's do that. A surprise proposal. Alex, it looks like you're on to something. Hi, Anna. And Jack? Nothing much. I and Sarah are preparing something. What is that? Um, Alex. Can I tell us our intentions? Let's ask them for advice. Yes. Jack, Anna, I'll tell you, but you have to keep it a secret, especially with Jenny. <gasps> Jenny? She is Alex's girlfriend. That's right. This is a big surprise for her. Is this a party? I guess. More than that, perhaps it is a surprise proposal. That it is. Wow. Oh my god. Really, Alex? Are you serious? Yes. I'm thinking about what to do to surprise her and make her happy. Jenny is the happiest girl in the world because she has a boyfriend like you. Oh, thanks. Anyway, do you have any ideas? I'm thinking about inviting her to a restaurant and proposing there. What do you think about it? I don't think it's a good idea. Because in the restaurant, there are a lot of people. Maybe she'll be shy. Oh, I see. But I don't have any ideas. Why don't you choose the place she likes best to surprise her? What does she like most? She loves singing. I have a new idea. Yes? What do you think about renting a small tea room? And you will play the piano and sing for her. Then you propose to her. That's a great idea, Sarah. Cool! Why can you come up with that? I don't know. Maybe because that's also my dream. That's romantic. I will do that. Jack, how did you propose to your wife? Pretty simple. On a normal day, I said to her, Do you want to marry me? And she said yes. So cute. And we've been married for two months. Alex will be getting married soon, too.
Social distancing time. Hi, Anna. Long time no call. Yes, Jenny. How are you these days? Is everything good? Quite good. How about you? I'm quite bored because from tomorrow my company will stay home for a week because of coronavirus. So you won't have to work, right? Ah, so you call me because you have nothing to do. I'm so bored. I think a week off is a good time for you to rest because you're already very busy. I know, but I have a lot of time. I don't know what I should do all day. I suggest reading books. Reading? But I don't have many books at home. Oh. You can read online. That's good. What do you usually do in your free time? Me, a lot of things. I have always wanted to learn how to cook. Ah, uh, yes. How about cooking? You can learn it. It's quite interesting. Cool. That sounds good. I'll try it. Do you want to work out? I mean, you can do some exercise or try yoga. Yoga? Yes, I've tried it. It really does work. You should try it. You will find it amazing. Okay, I'll try it if I remember. I want to watch a new film on Netflix. That's great. This is the best way for me to relax. Maybe in seven days you can watch more than one film. Yes, I think so. Thanks for your suggestions. These are my friends. Hi. Thanks for coming. It's great to see you. Come in. Now, let me tell you about my friends. Over there, that's my best friend, Susan. Can you see her? She has long black hair, quite tall and slim. She's wearing jeans and a t-shirt. You'll like her because she's friendly and she can be very funny. We were at school together. We had so many laughs. Then, over there is Kevin. He's the one wearing the suit. He's serious but very kind. He's a teacher. I'm sure the kids love him. Next to him, in the shorts, is Sam. He always wears shorts, whatever the weather. He's crazy, but he's interesting too. Ask him about his visit to India. Oh, and there's Mary dancing over there, the one wearing the dress. She's really clever, but she studies all the time. She's so hardworking, you wouldn't believe it. Anyway, how about a drink before I introduce myself? Situation 2 Jane meets Lucy in a clothing store. Hello, Lucy. I need your advice. I'll help if I can. I can't decide which t-shirt to buy. The blue one has short sleeves, while the green t-shirt fits, but I don't like the low neckline. I have a long neck. Do they have a blue t-shirt in a different size? No, 
The arm length in all the t-shirts is too short for me. I have a similar problem. When I buy trousers and find a pair the correct length, the waist size is too big. You are very tall. Have you tried some of the other stores on the high street? Yes, but the quality is not as good as here. I recently bought a cardigan and the sleeves ended just below the elbow. The salesperson said it was the fashion to have sleeves that length. Well, I suppose I could buy a blue shirt and tell everyone it is the latest fashion and have the shorter sleeves. Yes, and it will allow your bracelet to be seen and not hidden by a long sleeve. Thanks. I'll buy the blue t-shirt. How does it taste? That is a nice weekend. Joe and I come to Jessica House to have a small party. It's a long time I haven't met her because we had a business trip to Texas. Alex, it may be Linda and her husband. Can you open the door? Linda and Joe? I thought they were on business travel, weren't they? Yes, but they came back last weekend. I invited them to have a small party with us tonight. You did? Why didn't you tell me before? <laughs> to give you a surprise! Just kidding. I forgot it because you were so busy some days ago. If I knew it before, I would bring a full-bodied wine from my company to home. Okay, I'm so sorry, honey. They have been waiting for a long time. Open the door, honey. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm all right. How about you? Good. Nice to see you, Joe. Nice to see you again. We bought some fruit. Seasoned fruit at the moment are so fresh and juicy. Thank you. Come in. Jess is watching TV in the living room. Jessica! Linda, long time no see you. How are you? Not too bad. Oh wow, look at you! You are getting pretty day by day. How could you have this smooth skin? Come on, Linda, don't tease me. I just bought some fruit. Joe dropped it in the kitchen. Sure. Should we prepare food now? It's 5 p.m. already. Okay. Which dishes do we have tonight? We will have beefsteak, seasoned salad, and some side dishes. Do you want to have a little wine? No, Jess, we have to drive back to California. Got you. This is the reason why I didn't tell Alex about this party. He will prepare a lot of wine to drink with Joe. I can make some seasoned drinks. Let's see, which ones do we have? Okay. Do you want to try these gummy bears? I made it by myself. Really? Let me see. Oh, wow! It's sweet and sour. But it's just mildly sweet. And it's minty, isn't it? Did you add mint to the recipe? You are so dedicated. Alex cannot recognize the minty of it. <laughs> Should we call them to prepare food with us? Absolutely. 
Alex is a master of beefsteak. Now we prepare dinner together. Alex is in charge of beefsteak. Jess makes the salad. Joe prepares some side dishes, and I make drinks. I decide to make cocktails with fruit and soda. It is made from pear juice, fresh ginger, soda, and a little lemon juice. The cocktail has light, sour, refreshing, and soothing. Everyone, do you guys want rare, medium, or well-done steaks? Alex, make them medium. Yes, medium rare for me. Beef steak that are cooked medium rare are juicy. Oh, that smell! So aromatic. Good appetit. Have a good meal. Enjoy your meal. Happy eating. You are really a master in steaks, Alex. It's a deep and rich flavor. Yes, the slight chew, the tenderness, the juiciness—it all combined into a mouthful unlike any other. Come on, guys, you will make him beam with pride. Jess, they are corrected. <laughs> Anyone wants to have more salad dressing and Swiss cheese? Nope. I think it should be added more dressings. I like it highly seasoned. I like its refreshment, so I add just a little cheese. But I know anyone may like it cheesy and greasy. I will get some more for you. Normally, we substitute an Italian cheese for the Swiss. Since my father does not like the Swiss. Wow, the vegetable is fresh. I ordered from the home farm store. It's better than the supermarket. Pass me the pepper, please. Do you like spicier? Yes. And the salt as well. I'm a salty eater. It will be more delicious if it's seasoned in two hours before cooking. However, adding it now is fine. I wish we had some wine. Come on, Joe. We need to drive home. Next time, I will take the whiskey from our company for you, and we will drink overnight. Deal. What is this cocktail, Linda? I don't know the exact name. I learned the recipe on the internet. It's made from pear and ginger. At this season, pears are so sweet. I think it will be tastier if you add rosemaries. No, we have them with a steak already. The drink is suitable for red meat. To be honest, it is the first time I made that drink. Luckily, everyone likes its mild, sour, and sweet flavor. After dinner, we gather in the living room to watch our favorite Netflix series. Do you want to have some fruit or yogurt? I made yogurt by myself. Linda, do you want to taste it? I'm out, honey. I'm full. What about the two of you, Linda and Joe? Yes, please. I will test your cooking skill. Here you are. Let's see. Hmm, it's creamy and buttery. Hmm, it's quite good. 
For me, it needs to be more sugary. Did you try mixing it with fruit syrup? I think it will be better. Really? I have never tried. Why didn't I think of it? Next time when you come, I'll make it for you. Today, we have a great dinner. Thank you, Jess and Alex. My pleasure. I am so happy to meet you today. How long haven't we met? Two months? Yes, I think so. Next time, let's come to our house to celebrate a party. I have some brandy, Alex. Sure, we can drink all night long. You should visit me next month. If not, we will have another business trip in December. Why do you always have to travel? Where will you go in December? Mexico. That working trip lasts one or one and a half months. Okay, we will make time and let you know when we can come. Goodbye. Drive safe. Hope to see you soon. Text me when you arrive home. Sure. Goodbye. A sick classmate. What's up, guys? Nothing much. Have you done the homework Mr. Watson gave us? It's due tomorrow, so I haven't done anything. Oh, really? What a relief. But I'm afraid I got bad news. Chris is sick, so he won't come to class today. He is sick? With what exactly? Nobody told us. I hope he is still doing fine. Well, I only knew about this minutes ago. I heard his mother talking with our teacher in the hall. She mentioned him catching a cold last night or something. Is he okay? His mother sounds not so worried about his condition, so I assume he is fine. If it's really just a common cold, he will be fine in a few days. Should we call him to check up on him? I guess he could use some encouragement. But it's only seven in the morning. I think he is still asleep. Let him have his rest. Sick people desperately need sleep to recover. We can text him, though. He can read it whenever he wakes up. Good idea. What should we tell him? Just simply explain how we know he is ill and ask for his condition first. Then tell him we got him covered on schoolwork and other news. Also tell him to take his medication seriously. There was one time that he was sick but delayed taking medication, so it continued for like two weeks. He got ill more severe than a common cold. I can't remember its name, though. I recalled. Anything else? Should we visit him after school? Okay, but let's buy him some fruits along the way. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. And some oranges would help out a lot. I agree, then. I'll tell him in advance. What else can we do to help him? Mr. Watson homework? Knowing his nature, I doubt he has given it a single thought. Well, then, to help him is to help ourselves, too. Hey, guys, Chris is replying to me. What did he say? He thanked us for caring, and he got the best person around to look after him. Does he mean his mom? 
Yeah, I also assume he was talking about his mom, too. Anyway, Chris told me that he is going well and he had enough fruits to last a week. He would appreciate a visit from us, though. Then we will go straight to his house after school. I guess so. Tell him that, and also mention that tomorrow is the due date for Mr. Watson's homework. And I'll tell him that we will come over to finish that thing, too? It's for the best. Okay, I'll tell him exactly that. Well then, we will talk later. Okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please, subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.